Hello everybody, Minecraft Nudist here. I am bringing you another batch ga game. Yay! But I'm doing something that not a lot of people have done. I've looked all over the internet, but I can't seem to find anyone who's actually done this. Step by step with people. Okay? So, here it goes. We are going to be making a batch RPG. A batch RPG. So, why don't we get started now? Oh, hang on a second. Switch the language to batch. And yes, I am using Notepad++. So, so at echo off. <coughs> Title. Let's see, what should we set um, set the title to? Hmm. RPG game. But that doesn't make much sense. You know why? Because it's our you know, a role playing game game. But it doesn't matter. Anyways. So now, let's get started with making everything. So here, we're going to start making the, the main, which will be the home, kind of, where the menu is. Hmm. Welcome to the game. Echo dot, which means uh, it leaves like a space. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't show that dot. It just leaves a space, which is very handy sometimes. Okay, one start. Echo. If you watched my previous tutorials, then I wouldn't have then because I'm not gonna really explain the commands that you guys should already know from watching my previous videos about batch. So. <coughs> Exit. I'm not gonna do info. I don't feel like doing info. Set such slash p. Money sign equals enter. So what that does is um, you know, it doesn't show all that stuff. And um, but what it does is it shows enter. It shows it. It actually shows it. And then whatever you type after that, it will create as a It'll temporarily store in the dollar sign, I guess you would say. Um, <clears throat> so go to if percent dollar sign percent equals, so EQU, which means equals. One. Go. Go to start. If equals two, just to exit out. Now. Okay, so now this is where it's gonna get start start getting tricky. Okay, so do CLS and then set local enable delayed expansion. I learned that, but I have no idea what it really means. So, but it does help in the game, I'm sure. And then go to set slash set slash p name equals enter your name. And what this is going to be for is the save. That's right. This game is going to have a save to it. 
we're going to actually be able to save variables. Now this game is actually based off of some um somebody else's because I had to look all over the internet, but then I finally found his and I'm like, dude, this is like amazing and so I'm going to use his and I'm going to teach you except with voice instead of music. So thank you the Jonathan uh, I don't remember your name. I just it's just Jonathan something. I think. Hmm. I don't know. It I remember it starts with a J. Okay, so anyways, once that's set, here's where the, all of this goes into place. So if exist QE percent name percent SAV dot DLL. And what this does is it stores everything, all of your variables, in this DLL. DLL file. Okay. So now that all all is that is, then say set load equals one. You might have got you guys might have to look that up. Or no wait, I know what this means. Sorry, I, it's just I wasn't thinking. It sets the load, the load, the actual load as a variable equal to one. doesn't matter um anyways and then go again then go to new and then <clears throat> okay so that now that that's together let's go create the cell script is what me and my friend call it anyways a cell script um just for clarification I used to call cyber location, but now it's a, we call it a cell script for um, for easy naming. So guys, remember that is a cell script. Um, it's probably the easiest way to remember what these things are, and plus it's kind of a cool name. Um, so a cell script is this, and whatever is under this. So basically, what a cell script is is a block of code. Okay, so that's really all I'm gonna go into now. So, anyways, the new is where you're gonna set every single variable. So, set HP equal to 100. I'll say that, and that sets your health points to um 100 for it. Set EXP equal to zero, but then set EXP Till, till, equal to sixty. And what that is is that you're gonna level up once if this reaches this. So if that reaches that, then you'll level up. But we haven't set that up yet, so we we'll have to do that eventually. So. <coughs> Set gold, ooh la la, equal to zero for the beginning. Or actually, wait, hmm. Eh, I'll set it to 50. Uh, set hmm, level equal to one for the beginning. Set power equal to four and power goes into play with combat which will also be in this game which will be probably in the later episodes so and then set power gain which um, you gain power from buying power upgrades in the shop and there's yes there will be a shop too And then here comes weapon power, which is equal to two. Set weapon price equal to a hundred and twenty. Set 
hats equal to one, which is potions. For for anybody who's just thinking pots, why do you need pots? Okay, and then set armor equal to zero, and then go to home. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this. This is so far what we have for our RPG. Thank you very much for walking or watching, <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for walking, rate com watching, rate, comment, subscribe, stuff like that, please. It's very nice of you. I get a subscriber every day, which is really nice. So, anyways, uh, so bye, guys. It's been a pleasure being with you.